Do you ever find yourself having to copy a card and change the checklist items to be a different month because you don't know how to dynamically create checklist items? Uh, I had a reader who has this conundrum and I wanted to share the answer to it with anybody else who has the same question. So this reader, uh, she has a checklist she makes each month and when she needs to do it for the next month, she copies the card over and has to go manually change all of these due dates. And she was hoping there was a better way and sure enough there is. Check this out. So first of all, go to the board you want to do this on. Uh, click the automation button and head over to rules. You could trigger this a couple different ways. You could, let's say, whenever you want to make that dynamic checklist, maybe you always want to do it on the first of the month. Or maybe you want to do it at different times and that's when you would make a board button. If you want to do it always on the first of the month, go to scheduled and you can just create an automation to pick the frequency you want to do it. I'm just going to do a board button. Uh, just because that's uh, most simplest and it's the easiest to do. So what I'm going to do here, delete that so you, you can actually see how it's made. I'm going to say make a checklist card and call it whatever you want. And for the action, you want to create a new card with the title. I'm going to call mine month name um, checklist. And it's important to remember what you call this. I'll explain why in a second. And pick a list. We'll say incoming and if you notice that I put month name in brackets, that's because Trello supports using automation variables. And these are really cool. I'll include a link to them in the description if you've never seen them before. But basically, they will insert dynamic text. And so rather than just saying, you know, this month's checklist, it'll actually say September or whatever month this is run. So that's why we're going to do that there. But again, copy that because we're going to use that here in a second and go ahead and hit plus, then save that rule. All right. Um, so next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head to the rules section and create an automation over here. And this is because we want to say, once that card is created, now we want to actually add those dynamic checklist items. So go here and click Add Trigger. And we're going to say, you could do this two different ways. You could say, when a card, and click this filter, and go over to Content, and say, with a name starting with, month name checklist, like we just had, is added to the board. Um, you could do that. Or you could go over to Content and say, when the name of the card that starts with that same text is added to, uh, when a name of a card starts with that same text, that's when we want to trigger the automation. These are basically the same. This would be more useful if you ended up renaming it uh, at some point. Maybe you create it as a card and then later you change it to this. Whereas since we're already using automation to create this card, we can probably just use this one. So click that blue button. And now we want to add our actions, which are creating those checklist items. So go to this checklist section, type add item, Say first item, this could be whatever you want. You want to give it the name of a checklist, you can just say checklist and go ahead and click that plus button. So now we're saying, cool, now add the first item. Add another item and that's where you're going to set the due date. And this is what's really cool about the due dates is because it can be dynamic. So you can say set the due date to, you know, one day from now or you could say the next Monday or the first of this month or the first m Monday of this month or Friday or any of these options. This is where the world is truly your oyster. I'm just going to say in 10 days and go ahead and click that blue plus button and then you'll basically rinse and repeat for each item you have. So add another action. Let's see. Call this second item to checklist. Click that plus button. Add another action. Set the item due date, click the X, and maybe now this one we want in 15 days. Hit that plus button, plus again. You can see how this works, you know, add the item, set it due in 10 days. Add the item, set this one due in 15 days. And you want to make sure these are stacked in order. Just think about if you're reading through it and someone was telling you what to do. Does this make sense? You know, add this item, then set that item. You don't want to add all the items and then at the end say set items because it doesn't know which one. So you really want to do it in this order. Add the item, set the item due add the item, etc. When you've got it how you want it, go ahead and hit save and you can try it out. So let's try it out here on this board here. I'm going to click my button, make a checklist card, and let's see what happens here. Notice I've got a new card that just populated and you can see that I've got these checklist items and these dates are set dynamically to 10 and 15 days from now. Um, if I wanted to if I ran this exact same rule, no changes required. If I ran it tomorrow, this would say September 15th and September 20th because it's dynamically happening based on when that is ran. So I hope this makes sense. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you found it useful, please like and subscribe to my channel um, and check out my weekly Trello newsletter where I share tips like this every single week. And you can submit your own questions like this that maybe I'll make a video to answer. Uh, you can also comment below if you have any questions. Um, I monitor those and try to respond to as many as I can. So thank you for watching. I'll see you later.